something a little bit different, new, uh, a little bit different photo big planet. So right here we have our uh, freight car or piece of rolling stock for um, the train that we that I made. You know, it's a it's a two four two Shunter locomotive. Uh, yeah, you get the point. Uh, no front coupler. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a knuckle coupler for each of these uh, train cars. Uh, yes, it is possible. I know some people will just make like a knuckle coupler that looks like this and a little big planet, or they'll just attach something with it, or they'll just like attach it with a piece of string. Like the knuckle couplers that they like they'll make will look like this. They won't be like 3D. They'll be like they won't. Okay, they'll be like 3D, but they won't look like like a normal knuckle coupler. They'll look like this. And then you have like a freight car in here, like that. But we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be making an actual knuckle coupler that you can just back your train up. And then uh, your train will connect up to it. So let's get to it. So what you want to do is you want to take your material. Alright, we'll just move this apart real quick. You want to just move the freight cars back a little bit. You want to take your uh, materials or pick your material that you want to use. I'm assuming you already have a train made, you're just trying to make a coupling system. So you want to take your materials, so like right here. So you want to make it small, and then you want to, like that, and then here, like that. Or like that. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually I'll switch these around. I'm gonna move it back so it's against that. And you're gonna glue it to that. Glue that to that. So then what you're gonna do, this is actually like really simple. What you're gonna do is then next what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a triangle, I, I, you could either use the normal triangle or you could use the right angle triangle. Um, if any of you guys are actually into motor railroading, then you would know that this is like an N-gauge coupler. If you've ever seen like N-gauge N -gauge frames, N-gauge frames before, it's like an N-gauge coupler. So then what you want to do, so I take this, and then, well you want to like that, and then glue it there, and then take another one like that another cup and then want to take like, like that uh, so it looks like that and then what you want to do is you want to uh, take the triangle piece and you wanna uh, wait though those won't connect because they're not connect not together. Here, one second. Yeah, let me just move this real quick. Now it's in like the middle. And then Yeah, it's really real quick. So that's like right there. And then we can just And then we can just like that, alright? And then we have the first knuckle couple done. Uh, if you want to, you can like add like another piece of the side like on real trains, but I don't really feel like doing that right now. Like that. And then... Just like that, that's sort of and now you have your knuckle couplers. 
So what you can do is you can just take your freight car and now it's like that. I mean it's not like the best design. Uh, I, I'm trying to, I'm going to work on like making it a little bit more even. But uh... Oh wait, it didn't connect. We gotta, we gotta do. We gotta redo that. What's our stopping distance? Okay. Did it drop? Now it should have dropped in there, and we should have a consistent pull now. You guys see that? It worked. So now we have uh, knuckle couplers for our train. Uh, I, no, I, have, I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. You know what we're gonna do? So we're gonna put this. We're still gonna put this in the middle. Okay, that's obviously not going to work. But like, yeah, we can just go like that. So now we have our... Like that. So I, I'm sorry guys, this just isn't, this isn't the best design. It's really crude. Wait, oh wait, it's in a... Why isn't it moving? doesn't make it like couple closely and like passenger train then you can like make like the coupler smaller so you can't really see them. Okay so it's still not working. Uh. Let's try it again. Let's see if this is This doesn't want to work. There we go. Here we'll just. Um. But now we can just. See? And now. have our freight train. No, we're gonna make this a little bit smaller. should be able to Well you have to get like a good speed on it if you want to come right away. Oh so it didn't work. The thing is about this thing is that like you can like lift the freight car up if you want to. There now it should couple it should have coupled there. 
but like you're gonna need like a good engine if you want to pull like a long train. Didn't leave really that a stretch with the, with the knuckle couples. Uh, now let's make uh, another one, so we can make like another freight car in a caboose. I should just make like a bunch of these. There. And I can just make like. Remember to like, um, and remember, uh, if you're making a train that has like a width of four, a uh, Roblox box or a uh, little big planet of blocks, then um, you should put the coupler, knuckle coupler, on like the rear part. Put the knuckle coupler on the fourth, in between the fourth and the second block. It's, it's confusing, but like once you learn how to do it, it should make more sense. Um, there now we can just. Okay, so now what we can do is we're gonna go in here. Copy this freight car. If you want, you can just copy like every freight car if you wanted to. And guys, these knuckle couplers work. So, I mean, you guys can make up like your own design for knuckle couplers, but like, me personally, I feel like these like the best design. If they work. You can like hook like see look now this freight car is locked together now they can't be now the only way that these can actually be detached is if like and don't forget if you're gonna like if we're gonna make like a long consist I'm doing like this so that I can actually like okay you're not here you're not we're just gonna make this a sound freight car we're gonna make this a heavy caboose a long caboose Or 
we can make this just a tank car. Guys, feel free to copy this design. I'll make this a public level. These knuckle couplers are inspired by uh, N scale. Oops. N scale freight cars. She's a. See this? See this guy? Look at this. Look, and you don't even have to do it with this train either. You can just like... have to be with like okay, we gotta have to do and then like to unlock and then to unlock um to unlock the knuckle cup knuckle cup is what you wanna do is just one. press play and then just just drive your locomotive forward See? And then you can just... And then there you go. Now you, and then 
you don't have to do it with just a shunter locomotive. You can do it with like any locomotive. Do it with any locomotive. You can do it like with your diesels, your steam locomotives. Look, move this back here for a second. Look, and then like I can just take my uh, I'll just move this back. I can just take my O eight O. Just capture the yard. Yeah, Capture this. These freight wagons or freight cars as well. Right, now we got three freight cars. Look, see, look, now we got that in the background. Look, yeah, I can just take this. Oh wait. Oh, we're missing back some. Move that up here. And then you can just take this thing right here. See this Pokemon right here? This thing? Just attach. Just attach the coupler. Just attach the coupler up here. Let me see, uh, this one is a little bit different. But. They all work the same. That one is a little bit different because, like, the couple's knuckles, knuckles, like, right there. But. Did they oh, wait, I can't couple right there. to each other. That makes more sense. You just take your knuckle coupler and just stick it on here. Just put that back in its original size. Put it back to its original size. down a little bit before it back up. Did it work? A little bit too. Okay, you get, but you guys get the idea, I'm assuming. 
Now we got our knuckle covers. Let's just adjust this real quick so it's a little bit... This needs to be adjusted a little bit so that it fits on the Okay, you guys get the point I'm gonna say, right? Look here, I have an idea. So how about I go back into here? See that guy's right there? See that wheel slip? Mm -hmm. I know your point of consist. I just hit another train. But you gotta get the point I was saying, right? Now, now I'm just gonna save this. Stuff. Now I can just delete this because we don't really need it right now. <sighs> Alright, see you soon. Got our. Oh, wait, this is a whole separate. Cause this is a whole separate piece. Just hold on a second. Cause we got our freight train. You guys think. Guys, let's make a. Uh, Let's make a, uh, let's see, a diesel locomotive. Shouldn't take that long. We can just use this thing. Oh, no, we can't. Cut that's not. Yeah, let's make a diesel. Let's make an RS3. Yeah, 
let's make an RS3. Planet on PlayStation Vita. Now I'm not gonna make a front knuckle coupler. Even though it is a diesel locomotive, I'm not gonna do it. So I'm gonna do this. Okay, let's see. Tries to be if I'm not making this right, I'm not the best at making trains. A little big planet. I mean, I try my best, but I'm not the best. We can just add our flat top roof. Even though the RS3 looks more like curved than this.
of a train. Or I can just cut out the window. There we go. So you guys see that right there? Just to scale this stuff down if it doesn't look. Exactly the scale. So, what we're gonna do is instead of what I have four wheel drive.
I know you guys are probably gonna say something, so we're just gonna address this now. Probably gonna be like, where's the fuel tank at? The content corner. Where's the fuel tank at? Well, here you go. Here's your fuel tank. Right there. Here you go, your fuel tank. Right there. So what we can actually do is you can use the fuel tank as like a little placeholder. You can use this to connect away all these trucks. Where did it actually go? OCD with this train right here. So now I'm thinking. ASMR sounds. It's like you can just make like. Another rendition of, a, of the brick, if you guys know what that is. 
the brick. Um, all you rail fans watching this probably know what I'm talking about. Geom geometry train. Uh, except it's not really the brick. This, in no way, shape, or form is going to protect the brick. Like this. Hi, um, people who joined, uh, the content corner, me too. Yeah, we're just, uh, making a train right now, we're making a, an RS3. Um, previously, before you joined, we were making knuckle couplers for, uh, our trains. And they actually work quite well, I'll show you how they work when, uh, when we're done with this. I just have to finish this RS3. And if you're a real fan, well then, you probably know what I'm talking about when I reference the brick geometry train. Um, yeah, you get, the, you get the point, right? Yeah, okay. So you can have this part right here so that you can at least see the switch that we have. is like a good train. I can just make this. This is, the, this is the worst RS3 ever. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, but uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, everyone who's new, I could really use. I could really. I would really appreciate it if you did. see how like, the knuckle coupler works again, so we're just gonna do it real quick. trains have sound because I don't know how to add sound so if you guys know how to add sound to trains in Little Big Planet please tell me how you would because I really want to make a train with sound um, I'm going to be getting 
getting off soon. I have to check out of my hotel. I brought the PS4 with me. And uh, like, wait, just give me like requests on like what you guys want to see. And Little Big Planet. Cause I know you guys probably want to see some other stuff besides just me, just like building trains and like experimenting with them and making them covers. But here's our rolling stock over here. This is a tanker train. I haven't, I didn't, cover, I didn't color the cars black yet. I didn't color the black yet. There we go. Now we have our RS3 diesel locomotive to go with our tanker train. So let's do a little thing real quick. Switches aren't in both mode. Or the traction motor is right. train and it's coupled up with the thing. Let's just add one more thing. I'm gonna forgot to forgot to add the headlight. Uh next maybe like next stream I'll be making the train of uh, like I'll I'll be making the train that was an inside out. It's like a tank engine slash uh Diesel locomotive. I like diesel electric locomotive. There you go. Hold on a second, real quick. Just give me a second. I know, I gotta. I know, I gotta finish this real quick. I know, it's not even gonna take that long, just hold on a second, just, just real quick. Five seconds, Aiden. Not five seconds, give me like, like, give me like a minute or something. I just have to add these things. I just have to like, add this stuff in here. There we go. So now we have our... Our RS3. I should have the dish lights. Oh man, I forgot to. Okay, but we're just gonna show you guys a little quick running video, or a quick little running thing of all the trains, or of the RS3. Yes, I promise. We have more trains. All the trains that I'm deleting right now, they're all See like right here? Alright, now watch it. Here, so we're just gonna take the whole thing again. So, see so we have our number coupler and our other number coupler. Alright? So what we're gonna do, here. I know. Just go back here. Here, and then just... <laughs> I think I really remember when you're like you're coupling these things that you gotta go yeah. slow. We hooked up. So we're on the edge of being connected. 
or a couple of them. I'm taking the, the You but you okay, so look, then let me go that goes up there. We gotta make this go slower. The thing about this is that you have to like make it go the right speed at the right time so that it'll connect and not break the knuckle coupler. Because if it did, because if it does, okay, look. Do six three and then six. Wait, is this even on the ground? And it broke the coupler again. One more time. Gotta get it going at the right speed. Or behind it. So, here, now we're just gonna capture all these freight cars. Just add a, no, just add like a coupler to the front of this thing first. If that one's like that, then that means this one have to be in the middle in the forward position. That makes a lot of sense. I don't know. I have to put one more thing on this train and then I'll be done. Because I have to put this knuckle cover on the front. Let's see, is it in the middle? Okay, so now you should just. I know, but I just have to um, capture this uh, train so that I can save it. I know. There you go. Now this should be able to. Now you should be able to detach or attach. And to detach it, it's just pretty simple. You just take your freight car and you just lift it. the wheel will break on the now we have our train connected yeah all right well guys that was uh uh trains knuckle couplers 
stuff with Aiden. Uh, remember to like, comment. Oh, sorry, no, just on. Hey, yeah, that was a uh, drains and knuckle covers with the content corner B2. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more amazing videos. I'll be doing a full run thing of all the trains in uh, a later date. Maybe when I get home, but uh, we're going to be doing that later. Uh, and um, we're going to be doing a, uh, more running videos of the trains together. And we're going to be doing uh, knuckle coupler videos and piston rod videos and wow shirts and all the good videos. Stuff like that. So basically, if you want to see that stuff, just remember to like, comment, subscribe down below. And remember to have a good day. And uh, the content corner to be too. I'm out.